bueno amigos, como pueden ver estoy en un escenario un poco inusual, pero hoy nos citaron en una casa llamada Beckett House, que se conoce que aquí en esta casa pasan cosas muy extrañas. Y como... ¡Ah! ¡Por Dios! ¿Qué es esto? ¡Dios mío! No me lo esperaba. ¡Ay, Dios santo! Y no sé nadar. Ok, eso no es parte de la introducción, pero... Eh, eso es The Grudge. Oh my god, this is really creepy. Can you describe what's going on here? Can you describe what's going on? <laughs> it's a pretty creepy kitchen. I must say, we're in this incredible mansion and people yes. don't know where we are. Somewhere in, is it, are we in Chinatown? Where are, where are we? Hello, it's Peter Spencer. I'm here about selling the house. And this old, old house and this kitchen is reminiscent of the kitchen in The Grudge. Correct. I think years have passed, right? Since The Grudge uh, was introduced to the American public. How, how did you get into this? What inspired you? Um, I loved the Japanese films. Yes. I loved how simple and kind of minimal they were. Um, and I felt the opportunity to make a new installment into the franchise rather than having to remake anything and trying to stay as true to the pre-established mythology as possible mm -hmm. while making something that feels new and different and then taking advantage of sort of like current audiences hunger for more character driven horror films, you know, more adult subject matter, more adult stories. <laughs> Hello? I went to the house. Hello? Police department. My character, Peter, uh, and his wife have, uh, uh, she, she's pregnant and yes. the, they're looking forward to the birth of their child and then they get the news that uh, their child is, uh, is going to, has a high possibility of uh, developing ALD, so they, have to decide whether to keep the baby or not. And, you know, some of those scenes are very close to scenes, uh, you know, that happened in my life, certainly. Mm. And I think they're very mundane, and sadly. And so I think that's part of the appeal of the, of the film is just having um, really relatable circumstances that these mm -hmm. people are going through. And, and then um, out of love, really, and having then the, the supernatural element come into their lives is extra tragic. Hello? Opening yourself up can deliver both good and bad, mm -hmm. and you have to sort of sometimes risk it, you know, you, you, to open your heart and your mind and to ideas and to um, possibilities, I think, is really important. Yeah. And the idea that rage opens you up to can open you up to bad things is something to remember because we have a lot of rage in our world right now. Yes, and it's increasing. Incre uh, yeah, yeah. It's good. and, and I'm, I talk a lot to myself at home mm -hmm. sometimes and I'm angry about a lot of stuff and uh, I argue with myself <laughs> about it some of the time and I want to be careful too. I've gotten very cynical and very judgmental and very critical and uh, I'm angry a lot about what's going on with people and the way they behave and it just, it's not so much fun to go even take a trip to the grocery store in your car because there's surely some guy in his car who's going to cut you off and flip you off or it's, mm -hmm. a lot of people are not happy right now. There's a lot of discontent yeah, and this I'm, reflects that I think on some level. I totally get it. las entrevistas porque tengo que este tomarme la presión. Marín. Wow. Oh my God. That was...